Welcome to a series that I'm going to be calling the classic Minecraft Let's Play because the, the point of the series is to go back to the roots and the core of a Minecraft Let's Play the way they were years ago before the hardcore and the 100 days and all that good stuff which is still fun but I miss the good old classics. There was something very special about for example this is just some examples here finding your three with the skeleton skulls or getting one netherite star fishing for instance and the slow progression throughout the world and today it's just it's not hyped up but it's amplified basically so you can't well you can but the main thing that you see is people making big structures huge projects uh spending hundreds of hundreds of days for a single video. That is not what I want to do in this series. In this series, I want to go ahead and bring it down to earth a little bit. I want to bring it down to what it used to be, where the goals are small, the projects are small, and uh, that sort of stuff. But I'm not gonna sit here in the menu any longer. Uh, as you can see, we are running Fabric, and I have installed some mods. However, the stuff that I have installed is purely cosmetic. There's no game like changing things here all it is is visual so we have for example 3d skin layers better f3 which i haven't actually set up because i forgot to <laughs> falling leaves infinite music I, I have the music off because i still need to figure out if i want to use it or not uh, make bubbles pop just small things that are like cool and like visually pleasing mouse tweaks just because it's making managing inventories a lot easier. Not enough animations. We have Optifine on. I do have shaders and so we'll get to that in a bit. Shortcut box tool tips, tiny item animations and visual uh, visuality. And we also have, have in resource packs, we have Sally's potions, Sally's bushy leaves. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. Enchanted books, fresh animations is here as well. Fancy crops, which I really love how the how it makes the crops look. Terror background, which is the background that you see on the um, on the main menu, and then dark mode because I do like my dark mode. And the shaders is complementary reimagine 5.1.1. Now, if you want to run with the exact setup that I am going to be using in this series, I will leave a link down in the description for the Mud Rinth page, which will have everything that you need in order to set this up. But let's go ahead and make a new world. I'm not going to... Uh, hold on, I need to actually concentrate. Binaries, classic, let's play series. Can that... No, okay, just, just let's play. <laughs> and we're going to be staying in survival. We could go in hardcore, make things a little bit more, I guess, uh, maybe... I don't know, exciting, uh, scary. I'm just going to keep it survival because this is a world that I want to be able to play year after year, just keeping the world updated. We're playing in 1.20.4, by the way, and we're going to stick with as the versions roll out, the full-on versions, not snapshots, but the full releases. Difficulty is going to be on normal. Cheats are going to be off. And world, we're just going to leave it blank for a random seed and we'll get it when we get back in structures on now i do need to really quickly install a couple of uh data packs here and these are it these are from vanilla tweaks again links for everything is on the mudrinth page we have wandering trades which only adds in micro blocks so small blocks from the vanilla game those are just purely for uh aesthetics and for building adding small details and stuff it doesn't add any gameplay mechanics other than that Unlocking all recipes I think is just really nice because that means I have all the recipes in the built-in recipe guide. And then timber. Timber is the only thing that makes it so that I can chop down a single tree with a single use of axe just to save a little bit of time because it can get very tedious chopping down many many trees to gather uh, wood. It's just something that I really like to have. You don't need to have it. I just, I just really enjoy having that feature. But let's go ahead and now create the world and see what we get. This is a really, really exciting thing about, yeah, play, playing Minecraft, enjoying the, the world creation, seeing what you get, see what the scenery is. I'm excited. And here we go. We are about to load in now. One, oh, we're in a, we're in a snow biome. Ooh, okay, yep, there we go. All the recipes are now basically unlocked. I love that. That's just so nice. And let me just quickly disable the FPS counter. We don't need that on. Uh, there we go. Nice, nice, clean view. Oh, yeah, this is going to be exciting. The first day in Minecraft. Gotta love it. There's the sun going up. 
and we have 10 minutes before it starts getting dark. Now the question is, um, what are the surroundings looking like? Because currently we're just in a tiger biome, which, oh dear, yeah, that's a lot of information. I'll customize that in between this episode and the next because I can't really find the biome in this. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a tiger biome. But yeah, we have a couple of things here, like falling leaves, etc. And there's already a zombie growling somewhere. That's fun. But yeah, th this series, I have been really, really excited for to start this series because it's something that I've been thinking about a lot because I miss, I, mean, I just miss classic Minecraft. I miss the, the classics of, of Minecraft, the good old, oh, foxes, the good old way of uh, having the Minecraft Let's Play style. Just having like sitting here playing for like an hour or so and very minimal editing, all that good stuff. And let's take a look at the view here. Wow. And we have chickens and that's the fresh animations going in right there the way they <laughs> they walk we're gonna see that a lot but this is an interesting place to spawn i don't think i uh, have had a survival world where this has happened nice okay well hey chicken all right well you we should probably get started get stone tools and all that good stuff now i don't know if the tree chopping actually works with my bare hands i don't think it does uh, no, it does not. So we should probably get an axe as soon as possible. Now I should say with the timber data pack, uh, even if you only chop down one block and it like removes the entire tree, it does consume the entire durability of that specific tree. So it's not cheating in that sense. It's just a little bit of time saving. And eh, come on, come on, get down for that. There we go. Look at that, we even got a spruce sapling. That is pretty cool. And yeah, that's another mod right there with the zoom uh, zoom effects right there. I, I just think that looks kind of cool. Uh, by the way, if you have any suggestions for visuals and not game changing things, but visual things, do let me know down below in the comments. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, it could be from the little tweaks. It could be anything like that. But let's see. Yep, there we go. Now, as you can see on the durability right there, it took quite a hit. That's just to save a little bit of time, but I've said that already. Now, one thing that, um, do I want now? No, well, feathers would be nice for for arrows, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, one thing that I want to focus a lot on, on in this series is may focus on the smaller details. And what do I mean by that? Uh, I don't want to make huge farms. I don't want to make giant factories. I don't want to make ginormous things basically that takes hundreds of hundreds of days we can maybe have a large project but it's not going to be done in a single video then it's going to be a project that maybe let's say it took three or five episodes to get like maybe a big farm going right but that, that's that's what i like about it you don't have to compress everything into one thing it takes the time that it takes also I prefer making small things like a very small house, but detailing it a lot, making it look very pretty rather than making a giant mansion, if that makes sense. So that is what I'm going to go for in this series. That's going to be the goal, and I hope you're excited for it. I am extremely excited. Uh, if I could click on the right item, that would also help my progression a bit here. All right, stone tools, getting an upgrade right there. Beautiful. Let's just make everything that we can, basically. And yes, I am going to make a sword because I do prefer that over to uh, fighting with the axe. Are we going to make a hoe? Let, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a hoe as well. And of course, a furnace. There we go. Beautiful. And I'm trying to get the, the crafting table with a pickaxe. Yeah, I have played Minecraft before. I, uh, I'm not that bad at it. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Well, I guess a cave would be ideal to get some resources, but I also really want to explore, see what might be beyond these biome boundaries, but I do need to worry about food. Oh, there's a lush caves here. Ooh, we might dig down to that or just go into one of these caves and hope it gets us there. But yeah, chickens, I, I do apologize. Don't look at me like that. Just yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I, I need I need food on this journey. I just realized as well we do have out we do have berries so we're gonna go for that i think and one thing as well that i think i want to do in this series oh cool in this series that i haven't really done before is make making regular world downloads now i'm not when i say regular i don't mean like every fifth episode but something like every 20 episodes every 25 
Let me know what you guys think would be a good interval. Uh, really don't want to get too hurt getting these. That would not be good. And I think then we either really need to find some sheep so we can actually sleep the night or get ourselves down into a cave. How much cold it was? Was it? Oh, oh. Okay, that I hate with berries. <laughs> Are there really no... no that, that was only one piece of coal in that. Wow. Right, I think uh, find a cave entrance is probably going to be a good idea. Uh, also, not taking too much fall damage would also be a very good idea. Oh dear, hi. Yeah, I'm not going under there. I am not equipped for that yet. Uh, this, on the other hand, might look promising. I do hear skeleton though, so I do need to... Yeah, hi. Hi, I don't have a shield. You know what, let's just rush him. He's alone. Hey fella. Hey fella. Get those uh, bone... Bone effects right there, these, they're from the visuality mod. I quite like it. It makes sense that you would drop small bits of bones, I suppose. Um, ooh, wait, here we go, maybe. Unless it's just a... Mm, yeah, that doesn't really lead to anything. We're just gonna run around here, ooh, more coal. Until we find something that is going to be useful for us. These are mine as well, right? We also need to find a place to settle down. Don't know where that's going to be yet. Um, I do have an idea for a house. Something that I did in the way beginning of me playing Minecraft, but we'll get to that when we get to that point and stage in the game. First, let's get some of the basics done. Alright, there we go, our first torches. Uh, hey fella, please don't do that. Don't sneak up on me, that is very rude. Not very nice at all. There we go, that's a lot better when it comes to having coal. Don't know if I want to get all of this though. Uh, ooh. That's a magma. I might grab that. Just in case we want to make some... Well, I was going to say some early game uh, water elevators, maybe. But we can't really have uh, soul sand unless we go to another. But I think I'll, I'll take them anyway. I'll take them anyway. Because maybe we want to make some sort of farm if we find a spawner or something. I'll take them. They could prove useful. Four of them should be fine. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like this cave is leading anywhere else. Unless... yeah, nope, I could tell. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. And copper isn't really that useful, but I guess I'll grab a little bit. I mean, we, we can... oh, wait a minute. We can look in here. Copper stuff, right? Uh, Right-click for more. If I go... Oh, oh, that's an interesting feature. Huh, I guess we can't search for what an item can be used for. That's the thing I do I do like about JEI, but I feel like that would make it feel a little bit too modded, if that makes sense. But yeah, that that would be a nice feature for this um, crafting thing. This is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. The sky is pink, which means the sun is indeed going down, and we don't have a bed nor a place to stay. I don't think I want to sleep in a or be in a tiger biome. So I think since we have some open ground over there. I'm gonna head in that direction, and we'll just see what happens. So, sun sets in the west, so this means that this is going to be south. Yeah. Oh, look at the night sky. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's very pretty. Uh, ooh, an igloo. Oh, wait. I forgot about these. See, it's one of the beauties of playing playing Minecraft like this, I feel. When it's more down to earth. I, I didn't mean literally down in the earth, but okay. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, it's fine. Um, but yeah, finding like things like this is exciting. When you do it in the large scale of things, things that normally had or used to have some sort of like meaning, it doesn't have it anymore. Like if you find a spawner, eh, it's whatever. But like this, I feel like it's it's special. It's special. I and mean, we have a furnace here. Do we have? We actually have a trap door that is filled with water. That's not ideal. Okay, you know what? I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna build a door. I'm gonna build a door. I'm gonna place the door right there because now I feel safe. I, I mean, we got a bed. I didn't even think about that. We actually have a bed now. That's huge. I'm gonna make a chest because I think this is probably the place that we're going to stick around at for probably a while. So just to get rid of some of these things that I don't necessarily need on me at the moment. Like that. And then let's go ahead and down here and see. I mean, maybe we'll have a villager on day one, huh? If there is one, that it. Oh no! Is this entire? It is this entire thing water? 
Uh, I can't. I can't even go down. <laughs> okay, that's problematic. Oh, I can go down now. Okay, I've drained some of it. Um. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, that is villagers here. Oh, that means we could start. Okay, what we got? We got some apples. This golden apple, and of course the. Eh? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> That this is supposed to work. I tested this. Okay, well, I need to figure that out. But we do have a splash potion of weakness. Do we? I mean, I okay. Yes, yes. We will cure this poor villager. All right. Um, there we go. I got a little bit of weakness myself. That's fine. Golden apple. There you go, pal. And then we will get that. Um, actually, I'll leave the chest here. That will probably. We got a brewing stand, I just realized. Wow, we don't have another uh, netherite? No. Um, we don't have any, what's it called? We don't have any nether wart, but it'll be fine. Let's get rid of this cobweb. This is going to be a cozy basement now. Oh, can I get up from here? Oh, I can. I can just swim. Nice. And since it's night time, uh... Yep, my respawn point is set. I hope that the bed is tall enough in case I die. I mean, I'm not too far away, but hopefully it's not going to be an issue. All right, let's put this away. I could do with that extra food. And I think we're still going to go into... Oh, yeah, hi. Yeah, we're still going to go in there. Maybe we can find a village or something close by. And ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, I will want to run a fair uh, run flesh, though, because if that guy is going to be willing to buy run flesh from us, that wouldn't be too bad. And I don't want to die here, so I'm going to go back inside. <laughs> All right, we got some chicken, we got sweet berries, we got apples. I think we are good to go. We just got to remember we're going south. And okay, yep, nope, not dealing with you. Not dealing with you. Look at how pretty this is. Look at how pretty this is. I mean, it's beautiful. It really is pretty. It really, really is. Now, I think this is just going to be our temporary home. I, again, don't really want to stay in a snow biome. It is very bright, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I had a camera, I wouldn't need any camera lights, that's for sure. I mean, I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I guess I'm looking for another biome, a sign of a village, maybe. Or maybe a ravine slash cave entrance that is going to be pretty big, or big enough anyway. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> I think that's a cave entrance, actually. I will take these pumpkins, or some of them anyway, just for the seeds. Might as well. Just so we don't have to look for them in the future in case we want to get any. And this could be a source of getting some iron. Yep, that's some iron right there. All right, I didn't bring any coal with me because I'm smart like that. Um, but it's fine. I'm sure we will find some on the way. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be our first pieces of iron right here. Very, very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be needing some coal, aren't I? I guess I'll take some extra copper as well. Might as well. Oh, zombie doctor. There we go. The guy has been cured. Let us see what uh, traits he has once we actually come back here. That's going to be a nice thing. All right. I think that's enough copper for now. Oh, oh, I almost missed that. Wow. That would have not been good. But yeah, I don't think I've actually seen one of these uh, big ore blocks actually generate in the actual world before. Like I've known they could, but I don't think I've actually seen it myself. That's pretty cool. Very cool, actually. All right, let us go ahead and make some more torches. Cause don't want to run out in a sticky situation. Oh, that's steep slate right there and creeper feet. <laughs> oh, I fell down. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, you you have cool animations, but yeah, please go away. That <laughs> don't like spiders. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, this is an interesting place. Let's see what we got down here. Ooh, it opens up. That's gold and everything. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Redstone. Okay, here's what I think. Of... Ooh, glow lichen. Okay, uh, sorry. That's not lichen. That's glowing sack. Right, I'm going to ignore that creeper for now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this iron here. And then I'm actually not going to go any further because I feel like in the next episode, I would like to do a my just an episode of mining. An episode dedicated to mining in this nice cave here. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to have 
for episode two. So this, we're going down in this in the next episode. I, I guess I need to check that it's not just a dead end, right? So let's get rid of you guy. Okay, right. <laughs> uh, I don't think it is. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Uh, I don't think it is. Okay, nice. Yeah, I don't think it is. But plenty of tough though. That's gonna be nice to build with. Yeah, I feel like going back home now, seeing what those traits are. Ooh, nope, I'm gonna do it. I need iron pickaxe anyway. I don't have an iron pickaxe. I need to go home and uh, spell some of this iron down. Get a shield probably. Um, yeah, maybe get a little bit of armor. Get an iron pickaxe for sure. And I think that that is going to be the plan for next episode. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make the classic Minecraft beacon of here is something. And I'm just going to go up like seven blocks or so. And then placing torches around it like this. Boom. That is a classic way of marking something of interest. <laughs> now I'm just going to climb this hill before heading home just to see if there's something interesting on the other side potentially. And we are at the peak and look at the view. Wow. This place is pretty. Really pretty. No sign of a village or a shipwreck or any other biome actually. So uh, we're probably going to be stuck here for a while. There's some sugarcane down there though. I'm not desperate for it right now. I think I'm going to head back and see what that villager has to offer. And then we're going to call it a first episode. Making a quick pit stop because I see food. Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> uh, wait, wait a minute. This, this looks very, like, very, like, normal having gravel here. But um, that isn't. This is like like one of those um, buried. Yep, that's suspicious looking gravel. Oh, wow, we actually found. Wow. Okay, we're making another marker right here because this is epic. I haven't found these naturally in the, in the world before, since they were added. Wow. I mean, I was gonna say, I'm just gonna look for some food here. Or take some food. But that I did not expect to find. I'm glad I got that copper, because that means we can make a brush. Now I want to do that in the next episode. Oh dear. <laughs> um, right, we have plenty of time for all of it in due time. Another hole here. Wow. We are definitely not short on coal, that's for sure. Um, where is my igloo to be exact? I don't see it. I think it's like over here. Oh yeah, that is. See, ladies and gentlemen, that is why you do the good old classic of making stone towers. Because when you make these, it is impossible, it's simply impossible to get lost. Well, okay, it's not fully impossible, but it... it it makes it harder to get lost, right? <laughs> That's what it does. It makes it harder for you to get lost. Actually, I'm going to put these on the trees. There we go. Nice. Nice addition. And home just in time for bed. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set this off to smelt real quick. Oh, yeah. And I need to remember that I have this mod installed. That's nice. Installing it and not even using it because I forget that I have it. Right, let's see what this guy actually has to uh, has to offer for has to offer. I can't speak apparently. Hey fella, oh, oh, you lost your your job. Uh, I need to remove you, and then you take that as your job, maybe. Can you climb ladders? I'm scared. I don't know if you, I don't know if they can climb ladders. You know what? I'm just gonna remove these bars here. I mean, it's inhumane. Uh, having the there we go, um, right? Yeah, you do take run flash finals. Okay, that's good. That's very good. I thought for some reason that the barrel would be a job thing, but I guess it's not. I need to put a barrel or something there. Maybe a composter. Anyways, that is awesome. I also need to get rid of all that water because that's just annoying. I hear a lot of water outside. Oh the oh the ice. Oh, well, um. I suppose. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Uh, place you. Break you. Place you. There we go. Simple solution. Guys, this has been the first episode of my classic Minecraft Let's Play. Not really much happened, but we did find an igloo. We got started with the world. We found an awesome cave. And we found one of those that I forget the name of. 
underground suspicious gravel thingies. Yeah, that's a thing. That thing. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and want to see more. If you do, be sure to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. It means a ton. Helps out the channel a lot. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing so you don't miss the next one. And yeah, with that said, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you indeed in the next one. Until next time. Oh, wait. That's... Oh, that's... I thought that was string. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day. And goodbye. <laughs>